What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I use this palette right here that I picked up from Ulta. It is called The Warrior by Juvia. I think this palette is so cute and it has tons of neutral tones in it. And I'm going to show you how I got this look using this palette. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first I like to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. What is this? Brow definer. I'm just going to brush my eyebrows in the direction that they're going and they need to be arched, but I'm not looking for the perfect brow with this right now because my hairstyle is bangs at the moment. So they're gonna be covered. I just want them to look a little bit more fuller. This concealer, LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Fawn. Just gonna put that on my brush and clean up underneath my brow. So I feel like my brows are pretty okay right now. They're not perfect, but like I said, I have bangs, so you're not even really gonna see it. I would like to go in with this Juvia's Place palette. This is my first time trying this palette out. I really don't do eyeshadow like that, but I wanted to try to get into it. And I was in um, Ulta one day and I came across this palette. The packaging, it just really caught my eye. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's called The Warrior by Juvia's. So when I opened it up and I took a look at the shades, they were all these bronzy, like neutral tone shades. And I thought that they were absolutely beautiful, um, especially on my type of skin color. And I feel like this is like a nice beginner palette because it doesn't have, you know, crazy colors in there that you can't blend or mix. So I wanna give this a try. I think it's gonna come out Pretty decent. I do want to use this darker color. I think it's called Minnow. I just want to use that on the outside to darken it up a bit. <laughs> really blend it out. Let me try Bakwa in the middle. Please do not mind my nails, I need to get them done. Bakwa, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just gonna tap that in. just to wake up the inside of my lid. And these colors are so pigmented, like. That looks so good. And this is pretty much effortless. Like I'm just literally tapping it in where I want it to go. And I don't do eyeshadow that much, so this is very easy for me. And I think it looks pretty decent. And I'm just gonna go back in with that dark color minnow again and just make it transition a little bit better. Now I'm gonna grab my 
Ben Nye Banana Powder, and I'm just gonna set this underneath my eyes just for a couple of seconds, just pat it in. I really wanna try that Sasha Buttercup because it seems to be a little bit more warm versus this Ben Nye Banana Powder, but I've had this forever. Literally, I bought this when I was in high school and look how much, I mean, it's never gonna run out foundation which this is just some bare minerals that i have i'm not gonna do liquid because i want to keep this look kind of light <laughs> using this juvia place palette i want to see if i can use one of these shades as a nice little highlight i'm gonna try the same the same color i did on my lid just to keep it consistent <laughs> to put on my lashes i use weave glue <laughs> i just do um, I tried other adhesives and they've left my eyes like with white residue or clear residue and then it looks like you have, you know, cold in your eye, ew. So just the weave glue just works best for me because it gets tacky almost immediately. It's already black so any mess ups or mistakes, it just automatically looks like eyeliner this is what i'm sticking with <laughs> no pun intended but this is what i'm sticking with until i don't know until i find something better a little bit of gold at the bottom i think that would be really cute this is my chestnut lip liner from mac obviously i use this for everything like it's on its wrist end And I think I'm just gonna use um, Honey Love by MAC. You can definitely look like a crackhead with this lipstick if you don't blend it right. <laughs> then I'm just gonna add a little bit of gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Universal Gloss. Just add that to the inside. Okay, so I am back and this is the finished look with my bonnet off. I just really love the look and I think that palette was really easy to use. I'm a beginner when it comes to eyeshadow and I really just like how it was easy to put on my eyelid and how it was easy to blend. I'm just gonna be doing this look all the time and using this palette all the time. Right now, with this black turtleneck and this blonde hair and this bang, I'm giving you Beyonce, me, myself, and I video. <laughs> I'm really feeling this look though, y'all. I really like it. If you like this look or you're gonna try this look out at home, give my video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out.